What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and today we're going to talk about an interesting weapon perk combo that Bungie has been fairly quiet about. I've heard a few other streamers talk about it very briefly, but I wanted to do a deeper dive than what I've already seen and see if I can figure out what makes the combo tick. I'm going to go over what weapons can roll this combo, spoiler alert, extremely few, how exactly the combo is broken, what it can do for you, and how to get it to proc easier in PvP if you're looking to use it. But quick question, do you want a AAA game that has all the appeal of a blockbuster movie and is free to play? Yeah, I've figured. Well, fortunately, today's video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Let me take a quick minute to tell you about everyone's favorite new faction in Raid, the Sylvan Watchers. Instead of being basic and building a city on the ground or in a cave, the Sylvan Watchers made their home in the Mistwood, a huge jungle east of Teleria. Don't expect to walk in the park if you try to visit the Sylvan Watchers. If the beasts don't try to kill you, the Sylvan probably will for trespassing on their land. They seem like a fun bunch. Or maybe I should say they're a bunch of fun guys. Eh? eh? Sorry. We got a bunch of characters variety in this faction, with each champion being in tune with nature in their own unique way. Some have plants or mushrooms growing off of them, while some are even literal trees. And to kick off the new year, there's a fresh raid update with a bunch of new features, including a new season of the Forge Pass for all your artificers, the Plarium Points program where you can earn in-game goodies including a legendary champion, and more. Speaking of champions, there's a whole bunch of cool new ones coming this month as well. Can't wait to try them all out. Later in the month is the fourth anniversary Titan event. It goes on for a few weeks and you can earn earn anniversary points by competing in themed events. Don't miss out on those rewards. To all new players, it's time to vote on your favorite starter champion. Download Raid from my link, copy your in-game player ID, then go to championselect.plarium.com and enter your ID to vote. The vote runs until February 10th, and all eligible entrants can win great in-game and real-life prizes, including epic and legendary champions, in-game items, and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. If you're an existing Raid player, you can go to championselect.plarium.com, where you can find a special promo code that everyone can use for an in-game gift. Vote on your favorite champion today. But there's more. New players, use my link or scan the QR code here and get a free starter pack with this in-game loot. And if you didn't know, MMA and pro wrestling megastar Ronda Rousey has made a leap into the world of Raid with her very own champion. You can get Ronda by opening Raid on seven days before February 20th. That's all there is to it. To celebrate her arrival, you can use the promo code RAIDRONDA to get a bunch of useful in-game items to help level her up. Just enter the promo code in-game and all the goodies will be sent straight to your inbox. There's no better time to download. Check the link in the video description and thank you again, Raid Shadow Legends. And we back. The broken perk combination in question, Frenzy paired together with the recently made Perfect Float. Is there a good chance some of y'all have heard about the combo already? For sure. But I got extra info you might not know, so uh, you know, come take a walk with me. For those not in the know, let me give you a crash course. Frenzy is a not new weapon perk that has been in D2 for a while. Here's how it works. After being in combat for a quote extended amount of time, the perk will officially activate and give you all of the following. A 15% weapon damage buff, 50 handling, and 50 reload speed. Not bad, but the extended amount of time is where things get annoying. You have to be in combat for a grand total of 12 seconds. Bungie defines being in combat by dishing out or taking damage in any way, and there's a mini timer within the timer of about 5 seconds. If that sounds confusing to you, let me put it this way. Imagine you and your homies are drunk at the beach and you're trying to keep a volleyball up in the air for a grand total of 12 seconds. However, the volleyball has to be touched every five seconds on the road to the grand total of 12 seconds. Now just replace the phrase touch the volleyball with the phrase take or deal damage and there you go. Check out this clip from my good buddy Cammy. He shoots an enemy and the timer begins. Every time he either takes or receives damage, the five second timer refreshes and when he finally passes the 12 second threshold, the perk Frenzy officially activates on his HUD. Booyah. Fun little perk if you can get it to activate, but you'd probably agree with me that 12 seconds ain't wildly too generous in PvP, considering the average time to kill is around one second, give or take. Moving on to the more new perk, Perfect Float. After being in combat for a moderate amount of time, the perk will activate and give you the following. 30 extra airborne effectiveness, but more importantly, reduced incoming flinch, which is why I love using that perk in PvP. Not too shabby overall, and unlike its big brother Frenzy, Perfect Float only requires 6 seconds of being in combat before activating, not 12. However, if you have a gun with both Perfect Float and Frenzy together, then they somehow get their activation criteria intertwined. Instead of taking Frenzy 12 seconds to activate, it now only takes 6. Basically, if you're taking or dealing damage periodically in a 6 second window, both perks activate together, and that can be really fun in PvP. After all, for playing kinda normally, you get better AE, reduced incoming flinch, better reload, better handling, and a 15% weapon damage buff for free. That's kind of a lot, but take note though, it ain't all blow 
hearts and rainbows out here with that combo. I found out that it's possible for this glitched perk combo to sometimes not work. At times, they're more sensitive than your friend who writes anime fanfiction, but I think I know what causes the glitch to not activate. By the way, I say glitched perk combo because as far as I know, nobody at Bungie has said anything about the combo publicly, leading me to believe that it probably isn't intended and will likely be corrected at some point in Lightfall or maybe even sooner. But until then, why not enjoy it? Here's what I figured out on the subject of the glitched combo sometimes working and sometimes not working. Most of the time, anytime I was dealing damage a tad too slowly or if I was not taking damage at all while dealing damage back, the combo would not activate at the six second mark. In the following clip right here, I'm dealing damage to my buddy within a five second window, so both perks should activate. Yet, for whatever reason, they don't. However, if I'm both giving and receiving damage together in the same window, the glitched combo is more likely to activate at the six second mark. With that in mind, here's a few handy tips to get this glitched perk combo to proc more reliably in PvP. Number one, enemy duskfield nades. Probably the easiest. If an enemy throws a duskfield nade and you need a quick way to to keep your perfect float frenzy timer alive, pop your toe into the duskfield nade for just a second. It barely does any damage at all, which is great because again, taking damage in any way is going to proc your glitched perk timer. Number two, enemy shadebinder turrets. Provided you're moving and not standing still or getting frozen, enemy warlock turrets can help you proc the perk. You have to get hit by the turret and take some kind of damage though. You can't just shoot and blow the turret away immediately. Again, don't be worried. The damage you'll take is usually pretty minimal. Just try to not get frozen. Number three, enemy void child. I'm not saying go out of your way to get tagged by a void child, but if you see one hanging around unsupervised, just go over and dip your big toe into the damage radius real quick. Tiny damage taken and you'll proc that perk combo a little bit quicker. And now offensive tips that don't rely on intentionally taking damage like a weirdo. Thorn, Lamonarch, or any weapon or ability that deals tick or burn damage. Did I mention that float frenzy can be activated even if the weapon with the perks is stowed? With that in mind, any weapon or ability that deals chip or tick damage over time can repeatedly reset the internal damage dealt timer on Float Frenzy. In fact, I put on the Bombardier's Hunter Exotic and with the Ashes Fragment that gives you better Scorch damage, I was able to proc Float Frenzy in just one bomb tag on an enemy Guardian. That is kind of wild, but I do know that tagging an enemy in PvP with the Bombardier's isn't always easy, especially in this Pulse Rifle DMT heavy meta. But the easiest way by far to keep the Float Frenzy timer active is is Gemini Jester, the hunter leg exotic. Whenever you dodge to proc Gemini Jester, yeah, you F up the enemy team's radar, but you also deal a whopping guaranteed two damage to anyone within your range, even if they are on the other side of a wall. Pitiful damage for sure, but it's all you need to keep the frenzy float volleyball up in the air for another few seconds. And with that in mind, I started going into PvP and taking mental notes of every time I both dealt and took damage. If both happened, I'd be sure to proc Gemini and keep the timer alive, and that usually resulted in both perks activating early. That's a really fun way to use the Exalted Truth hand cannon, by the way, because with Float Frenzy up, you can now three tap an enemy with just two shots to the head and one to the body instead of all three to the head. And now the bad news. There are only six weapons in the game capable of rolling this weird combo. They are Fire and Forget, Prolonged Engagement, Exalted Truth, Exalted Truth Adept, Tripwire Canary, and Posterity. Out of that list, I'm only really interested in three. Exalted Truth, which I have, but also the Posterity and the Prolonged Engagement. The talented Walla has a video on his channel featuring the broken combo on Posterity, and it looks fun. Allows the gun to three tap to the head, which is huge for a 180 RPM hand cannon. Prolonged Engagement, I would love to try out, but it's a Vanguard weapon drop, meaning the odds are really bad that you'll get one with Perfect Float and Frenzy together. I mean, just look at this. 12 goddamn perks in both column 3 and column 4. Yeesh. If you're lucky enough to have that role, A, I kind of hate you a little bit, and B, let me know how you feel about it. I legit do want to hear from you. Head on down to the comment section and let me know if you think this is an intended perk combo or a broken one that Bungie's going to try to sweep under the rug. If it's intended, I would love a shotgun with this combo on it, hoping we get one, but again, I am doubtful. Thank you very much for watching, enjoy, and I'll see you on stream.